Hey everyone, this is Ryan. In this video, we'll take a look at how to handle the divisible by zero error that does come up in your apps when you have simple uh, division calculations. And what we'll take a look at is how to use these uh, monitor to find out where it's happening and also how to handle it with the if error function. So let's take a look at our current setup. Uh, currently I have two text uh, inputs here, um, one for one number, one for the next. So one's going to be divided by the other in these two label fields. So the reason why I have two is one's just for a simple calculation and the other I have uh, you know another formula involved here. So I want to show you how to handle the, the error when you're using other formulas in combination with your calculation. Now, one thing I will recommend is on the left, go to your settings or advanced tools here and open up the monitor, which will appear in a new tab at the top. This will allow you to identify which fields are causing the divisible by zero error. So if I go and press play here, you'll see I can go and easily change this value to whichever one I want. No errors appear. However, if I go and enter into zero, and I'll just close my screen here, you'll see that an error did pop up. So if I put my mouse over it, you'll see divisible by zero, divisible by zero error here. So if I go to my monitor log, you'll see here how we have the errors. So it's showing divisible by zero error. Now, the great thing about this is if you have a lot of calculations or you know on your form through labels and stuff like that, you can pinpoint the control that has the issue here. And you'll see that right here, okay? On the right side, you'll see the control. Also, what you can do is if you go in, you can actually see the formula and you know further details on the error here. So if we go back to our form, what we can do is how to handle it. And to do that, it's actually quite simple. There's a simple uh, function called if error. And all we have to do is saying, if an error comes up using this formula, let's change it to a different value. So in this case, we can probably put it as zero or perhaps blank. So in this case, we'll just keep it as blank. So you'll see how that error disappeared. Now, if we go to the other one, we could do it one of two ways. Um, we could either put it around the whole concatenate. And the issue with this is it will blank out the full formula. So you'll see how it's blank now. So we no longer see equals anymore. Or what we can do is simply put it over here uh, just encompassing the formula. So that way we'll still see equals. So now if we go to the app, we'll change the values around a few times and then we'll go to zero. Now you'll see that no error will appear. Okay, so we go back to our app, no red you know, error sign appears. And if we go back to here, we will be able to take a look at our formulas here, and you'll see how it does display that there's an error, but it's not showing it on the screen anymore. So we're past that point of it being shown and displayed to the users, and instead it's actually just being suppressed and showing different data instead in case that error does come up. 